Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and welcome back to Chained Echoes. Last time, we defeated Wyatt, and were aided by Ava, who came to help Sienna at the last moment. And now, okay, apparently that's the academy. It seems like there is a little dead end over here, so this probably is not. All right. Thought there was going to be a treasure chest there. I guess I could have seen that there's zero treasure chests. Here in the academy. Very pretty. I like the greenery. Found some breadcrumbs. Of the pick up -able variety. As opposed to the abstract variety. Researcher, there's a magic circle under Nysa. Every time magic is cast, it makes sure a small amount of ether is collected. It's been doing this for decades. Interesting. The corridors under Nysa serve as a magic circle. That's why there's magic symbols all over the place. I feel like this has potentially some far-reaching implications that uh, haven't quite hit me yet. All right, there's a person over here, so this is the first way I'm going to go. Lady Reyna will keep the key for the order. I wonder how long it'll take to find a weapon. Yeah, uh, about that. Also, there's something to read. A mighty king once commissioned the finest blacksmith of Eldria to forge weapons for his army. A dwarf known as Glorodim the Hermit. All the best materials... Instead of forging weapons for an entire army, he created only 27 swords, of which only one was finished when the king and his country fell, because he was a perfectionist. He kept working for another 200 years. Before the 28th sword was created, he died. Only 12 swords are known to exist, owned by noble houses. All right, so there's some ancient Incredible swords. Sounds nice. What else am I learning? Once the gateway to the Vigin is built, they'll sense the connection. They'll come looking for us. We must disappear from the scene, literally. Sinking the whole academy? Are you insane? So, did they do that on purpose? And I don't remember... Victor had some memory about the sinking of the academy, but I don't remember the details. Thousands of kingdoms ruled all Eldria. After the Great War, by the end of the Fifth Age, only a few great powers remained. There was a structural and cultural change. Weak cultures displaced, homogenization... Yeah, all right. Things that happen. And apparently, I am reaching some sort of goal, according to the map. All right, what do we got? It's a big door. And now I'm off the map. And there's relative quiet memory chains. All right, uh, I think we're back in like someone's memories or something, maybe? This stuff feels out of place. Also, there's nothing here. Um, hmm. If I walk back out, is some event going to trigger? Whoa, <laughs> maybe not. In which case, what was the point of all that? Was there another door I could have gone in over here? Hold on. Um, I guess farther back out yet. So here, it looks like there's another door over here that I did not go in. More people to talk to. Nice, it was only built so we could construct the gate in secret. We need vast amounts of ether. Magically gifted people from everywhere could come here and cast spells and something something. Also, elevator key. Oh, elevator key. Um, what elevator and what key? 
Location describing a small flying island currently be located west of Volandis. Interesting. I wonder if I can go there now. I wonder if I should go there now. What does the elevator key describe itself as in my inventory, I wonder? The lower floors of Ramina's Tower. Oh, really? Okay. Um, maybe that is the end of what I wanted to do here. Do I have the ability to teleport? I could teleport out of here. And there is a new island that appears on the map. All right, I think let's do it. In which case I might as well teleport somewhere that's a little bit closer. So if I teleport here, um, also remind me, is there an anvil here? There is. Do I want to use it right now? I'm kind of not in the mood right now. So I'm just gonna go call my airship. And there's the aforementioned island. Uh, right here. So let's see what it is. It's a place. I can use sky armor, so I shall. There's like a house. Um, and an anvil. And that seems to be about it. All right. Well, seems like a nice place. What do we got? Received new quest. Betraz. Can it be? These weapons, these armors. Are you Vale, the legendary blacksmith? You are. The quality of this equipment is answer enough for me. I sense a certain affinity between you and blacksmithing. You forged your own prostheses? I did. There's life in them as well, hmm? That rusty sword there. Give it to me. Oh, that old rusty thing I gave you? That drifted into the port of Farnsport. Under this rusty patina hides a weapon I once forged. So, once again, it returns to me. Can you restore it? My weapons are of the highest quality. That is firm truth, but they also carry a curse. They want to return to me by any means necessary. See those weapons out there? I forged them for the strongest and bravest knights, but at some point they all died and the weapons came back to me in some way. So you don't want to help us? That's not what I mean. I'm a blacksmith. My life's work is to forge exceptional weapons. I do not refuse any order since it's my duty and the life I chose. Anyone who wields a weapon must be ready to die anyway, but I do this work with a guilty conscience. That's why I live on this island. Rarely do people join me here to place an order. We'll take any risk. <laughs> work familiar with curses. Give me the weapon. It looks brand new. Looks new, true, but that's as far as its usefulness goes. The weapon's completely blunt. You can't fight with it. The real strength comes only when you upgrade it. I have to make ends meet somehow. That is a price. Bring me a rusty weapon and a soul of Farnese. Okay, and I'll restore it to its former glory. Where do you find that? You should find them scattered throughout the world. I think I have like nine of them or something. All right. Neat. Okay. Um, also, I got a side tracker achievement. So maybe these are like all the side quests or something. Did you find a rusty weapon? Yes. I have like uh, eight of them, it looks like. Do you want to use a full... Oh, and I only have seven souls. All right. Let's definitely do it on the sword. Because I presume that's going to be Durandal. All right. Glenn's weapon. And the bow, sure. Rob is very often in combat. Penaka. And let's see. Rapier, gun, gun smear, knuckles, anchor, cards. Actually, yeah, these are mostly, I guess, victors in battle a bit. Um, so I guess we'll go ahead and upgrade his rapier. Pappenheimer. But the gun would be Amalia. Gun spear would be Eagle. Knuckles would be Micah. Anchor would be 
uh, goat guy whose name escapes me, Tomki. And the cards would be Magnolia. Um, let's just upgrade these for now. Actually, I don't need anything right now. And let me see, like, are they, I presume I can, like, use crystals on them and different things. So, I guess first off, how much better is this weapon? So I'm currently using Knightly Sword Plus, and if I upgrade to Durandal, it's just a small increase in attack. And it doesn't have any things of its own. Uh, okay, but let's go ahead and actually switch out Durandal, and then if I say upgrade weapons, Durandal can be upgraded, and it does use Rainbow Ore and Emperor's Hide, and I specifically, there's more of the stuff to buy at the black market, I believe, but I specifically uh, spent a bit of money getting things like that. So I definitely want to upgrade that. And so that's five more attack power, and then I could upgrade it again for even five more attack power. Yeah. So I want to do this. Like these are basically like the final upgrades. Okay, so it's fully upgraded. It's got four slots. And so now I could stick some combined crystals in it um, and make it like a super duper weapon. So that is great. Um, Pinaka. So currently I had the rainbow and this is much stronger. And I can upgrade this one. And do I have the materials to upgrade it again? I do, but then I wouldn't be able to upgrade the other thing. What was the other thing I got? The Poppenheimer. Um, I'll be using that less. So let's go ahead and fully upgrade the Panaka. And that'll use up most of my materials. Okay, so now I have like two super duper weapons. And so now I should auto combine some crystals. And then I've got four slots. And so what would I want in each of these? Like I could do things like, you know, attack ups just to give like 10% extra attack. Um, Bowmaster, what does that do? Increases damage by 10 or 15 or 20%. That would be pretty cool. And I can combine a couple of those. Actually, I can't combine them because I don't have any extras with purity. Um, right. So let's see. Offensive crystals are things like these. So I could add earth or dark or dry or ether. All right. Well, I could make an attack up five crystal and it only cost one crystal slot thingy. And so I feel like that makes sense to put in the Durandal. So that is attack up five, which raises attack by 20%. That seems like kind of a big deal. Great. So let's do that enhancement. And then we still have three slots for some future things. And so maybe I actually want to get more attack crystals. And so those were called status crystals, basically. And more agility crystals would be good too. Um, and so if I go back to Hermit's Isle and talk to what's-her-name who lived where? I think in here? Here she is. Had a mine for only a certain crystal. So status crystals. I just want status crystals. Great. Okay. Oh, look at how much Micah has to eat over here. That's pretty funny. Um, that might have been like that before and I only just noticed now. And so then if I want to test this out, um, there are many places that I can just find random crystals. Um, I seem to recall, actually, that there's a number near here. And let's see. Can I avoid the bad guys by flying around? Yeah, okay, so here is a crystal. Magic, Bowmaster, and Agility. Yeah. Okay, so in theory, now I could just kind of like walk around the world and pick up a bunch of crystals and then be able to get some more like attack up and agility up and different things that I'd want to set into these things. Um, 
So I may do some farming along those lines, but then I also, I need to figure out like what else I'm doing in the game, in the world. <laughs> like we kind of got to the end of the area there. I happen to remember there were three crystals here, which is why I was coming here. Great sword master. Interesting. Um, yeah, so I guess I should take a look in the journal. I can also take a look at, um, yeah, let's take a look at that my reward board. I haven't looked at that in a while. So, what is something we haven't finished, for example? Defeat a gazer switching... Uh, that one's boring. Uh, explore most of the area in the flower fields of Perpetua. We still haven't done that. And actually, I'm much stronger now. Like, there were some super duper... Oh, win an encounter with all girls? That seems pretty doable. And that would increase my rewards chain a lot. That's in the flower fields of Perpetua, or whatever it's called. Let's uh, let's go over there. All girl team, huh? What is the easiest battle to win around here? I'd have to win on foot. Uh, there's just two guys there. That seems pretty plausible. So an all girl, oops, all girl team means I have to. I'm not sure if just having my frontline party will be enough, but let's see what happens if I do this. Um, I guess let's X slash. You cause other uh, snowmen to appear, I think. It's been a while since I fought you, but I think that's a danger. Okay, we haven't used Micah at all. Opener. When attacking a target that hasn't dealt it to take a turn yet, deals three times as much damage. Neat. That'll kill you. Boom, thousand. Nice. Um, and then Amalia, you could just do a multi-shot with your crazy gun. And Kesagiri. Alright, did I get the achievement? I did not, so presumably it's because I have backup people in my party. So let me remove all these folks. I teleported away and back, so that should respawn the enemies. So now I can try this again. All right, and your opener deals so much damage. Let's see if I can just one-shot King Owl here. Yep, that's pretty cool. <laughs> and then Amalia. What happens if you just attack? Do you also fire your gun? You do. All right. So. Hey, you win an encounter with all girls team. Neat. It is done. Okay, so. Rewards board. That brought my longest chain up. And so if I view my chain rewards, um, I can claim... Oh, if I get one more, I can claim another Soul of Farnese. I'll go ahead and claim the Grimoire Shard. Um, explore most of the area. Remind me... Uh, actually, let me put my party back together. Hold on. All right, I was never strong enough previously to get up through the bottom right. And I have stronger sky armors now. So let me make my way over there and see if I can actually deal with it. Okay, so if I go up here, there's like these giant thingies. And they still hurt a lot. But I am stronger than I used to be. Let's find out just how much stronger. First off, I'm just going to go for an offensive strategy. And versus one of these enemies, that seems fine. He hits for a lot, but I have more hit points than I did last time. Oops, I accidentally did the wrong thing. <laughs> Alright, don't do that when we're up against two at a time. But yeah, one at a time was no problem at all. So that is good. Um, and I don't remember what I did and didn't manage to explore last time, and so we'll just kind of go around together. Okay, so there's a treasure chest over there that I already got. Just gonna try going up the left-hand side, see what we find. If I go up here... Alright, this time, okay, two of them guarding a treasure chest. Last time I was incapable of surviving it. This time, suppose I use... Command Defense. To give me extra defense. 
And then Glenn... I think let's just focus on one of them. Victor, I'm gonna go ahead and put you in mode 2 for repair all, so that we get as much HP back as we can. And Betraz, sure. Wild Slash. And we'll leave Sienna in mode 1 and have her try doing command attack. So we upgrade our attack as well. So these are the buffs I was using in the uh, previous fight I did at the end of the previous episode off camera against that super strong boss. I want to do repair all again. All right, this feels like it's going to work. All right, that mostly missed. And so now at this point I can just go all out on attacks. Yeah, we'll just outlast this guy at this point. Alright, one more. Are you dead yet? Hooray! Cool. And as a result, I get Dark and Light Resist Ram. That's not super exciting. I mean, I guess it's better than just Dark Resist or just Light Resist, but... Um, let's go ahead and save that progress. Because it's still quite possible that I'm going to run into another battle that I'll be incapable of winning. Alright, so what about the right edge over here? Did I already explore this, or did I also run into a couple of big bad dudes? There's some more status crystals. And up here we have two dudes. Alright. Um, okay, I have a strategy. Basically, we got to do the same thing I did last time. Alright, the battle is won. And I'm rewarded with nothing other than the ability to continue. Ah, but I'm continuing up to a screen that I've never been on. Haha, -ha, and then we'll explore most of the area, which was the whole reason that I was thinking I needed to come up here anyway. Oh, and it's a fast travel location. How neat. What is this? You pour some Baba X on the tendrils. That is an item that I got from the goblin. The same one who sold me the berries that I used to kill those uh, giant creatures in the Ograin grottoes. He also sold this, and I didn't know what it was, and I bought it. And apparently that was a good thing to do. Uh, can I get back into Sky Armor here? I cannot. So we're on a new screen. I'm not in Sky Armor. I'm going to save again. And... Looks like right has some dead ends. Ooh, new enemies. Okay. Um, cobweb teddy. <laughs> Alright, and I'm dealing some decent damage. And they're not one-shotting me. <laughs> These are all good things. Um, nevertheless, it does take a lot of killing power to bring me down, it looks like. So let's do a defense break. Let's do a toxic shot. Oh, it's nice to be in a new area with new enemies again. Let's do light claymore, sure. And now Yokogiri. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. Uh, another Yokogiri, of course. Why would I not? And then... Yeah, I think this guy will still be arrived for robbed uh, Pandemic. Well, Sienna's down. That's a bummer. Alright, but I can Pandemic you and dot the other two. Great. And he's exploding because he's about to die. Ooh. That's, uh, that's a spicy meatball. I guess... 
I'm not sure what's the right thing to do here. I guess I'll use Arms Break in order to do a cooldown. That's a nice counterattack. And Rob's still alive, so he could awaken Spirit of... Um, they're both good. Let's do Betraz. He can always swap out for Amalia and get more healing going on. And then... I feel like I should just go back to dealing damage. They're weak to fire. Hold on. What if I... swap out for Fire Girl over here? Who is no stranger to dealing damage. Nice. Everybody survives. Great. Um... You are very low, however. Um, so I think the right thing to do is to swap out for Victor and have him... This would cool us down and might paralyze this guy. It says he's paralyzed. I don't always trust that, though. And yeah, this will hit everybody. We're dealing some good damage right now. Let's keep it up. Alright, you're poisoned. But you can do another fire jump and this will maybe kill one of them. It did not. And now you're down. Oh, we're in we're in trouble here. Uh, I'm not sure that Victor could finish any of these guys off. And so what's the right thing to do? Petraz could re-raise someone. But I think the right thing to do might be to use an Angel Wing to bring Len back. And then... I could use a Summoned Attack. It might kill one of them. And I think Victor would survive anyway. They're going to get a lot of turns here, though. Let's Let's go for it. It did not kill the one. And we're overheating, which is not good. But we are surviving. And so if you were to fire jump, you would kill one of them. And then Victor gets a turn. I think I'm I think this is gonna work. Oh, but Victor might die to poison on his turn. And also I forgot that you had a counterattack. Okay, so I just lost. So we'll retry that battle and I'll play it differently. They are extremely dangerous. Um, I don't think I actually have to make changes to my party formation. I just need to play differently. Um, it is a long battle, so damage over time is definitely good. So let's apply damage over time to like the second guy. Um, armor break, I think, on the first guy. And that's who I'll focus... Single target damage. Actually, no, I should have switched to Len already. I'm already doing things poorly. So this is the guy we're going to dot damage. Okay, so you are going to use Light Claymore. Sienna should use Yokogiri. All right, but then you should swap out for you. And Fire Coat would make everybody's attacks fiery, which sounds pretty amazing. So let's do that. I should have done that at the beginning. And then, so this should be all weakness damage. Yeah, so that deals more damage. And then you could Pandemic this guy, and the other guys would get Dot. And Sienna is barely going to survive. Another Yokogiri would deal a lot of damage. However, I wonder if Tomki can eat one of these guys. And this guy is definitely low enough to try. No new skill. Darn. We tried. Um, 
I think I need to sub out and cool down. Len is poisoned and now she's dead. That's a bummer because she was one of my big attackers here. Um, Barrage would hit everybody with weakness damage and it might actually kill the top guy. Uh, I can't help but notice that the top guy is not dead. Robbers this poison very well. He's got some equipment that helps with that. Um, Tomki really did not help. So we're going to sub him back out. And Physical Wonder is not very good, but it's going to cool me down. And then this thing explodes as a counterattack. And now we have some real problems. <laughs> Alright, let's raise Len. Ah, oh, you're dead again. Yeah, okay. I need to play a different, and I'm still not sure exactly how. Someone should use an ultra move for sure. Um I'm still not gonna change the party. Actually, I am. I'm going to swap my four nation and have Len here at the start. So that she can immediately start doing things and stuff. And... I don't know that my damage over time is doing that much, so I'm just going to go all out into damage on everybody, I think. So yeah, let's, let's just have everybody do all attack moves. And not worry about damage over time. And... I'm not dealing damage fast enough, though, and I'm not healing. Hmm. Yeah, Len's gonna be dead before she even gets a chance to take an attack. This is bad. Um, I do not like it. Well, I guess I can do something about that. Let's do a heal on Len. All right, that was actually really good. And now you can do your fire coat, which is the thing I really wanted. So that makes everyone's attacks more powerful versus these guys. So now this will deal more damage. Great. Oh, you hit so hard. I need... Uh... I need someone to sing a song. That'll help us out. This increases our defense. So let's do that one. Defense buff. Sienna's down. Um, let's raise her. She's quite valuable to have on the battlefield. Fire jump is good. Deals a bunch of damage. Oh, I'm overheating. I wasn't paying attention to that. I'm a foolish fool. Well, that's a bummer. Um, this will cool us down. Crest blocked. Good job. Uh, heal all... Or do I want to heal yourself? I'm overheating either way, but Len gets a turn where she'll be able to cool things down. So let's heal yourself. And then... Yeah, I haven't killed any of them yet is the problem. Yeah, I think I do need to focus fire on one of them. Or get some damage over time or something. And no one used an ultra move yet. Which is something else I said I was going to do. Um, Alright, so... Let's use a barrage to cool things down. And then I don't remember what Amalia's ultra move is, but let's check it out. Assuming that she's still standing. She is, and her ultra move is... 
Revives and restores all HP for all characters. That sounds fantastic. Let's do it. There's a wolf. Howling at the moon. All right. Um, fire jump? Yeah, they're like halfway down. That's a lot of damage. You're poisoned. And yeah, I think I just need to keep dealing damage. At this point, I'm kind of all in on the strategy. Uh, barrage would hit everybody. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to win this one this time. Still don't know that I had kind of ideal strategy, but good enough is good enough. Oh, I forgot about the explosions, though. Right before they die, they explode. And that's really bad. Alright, Len, I need you to survive, please. You resisted whatever they did to you, and we survived. Hooray. <laughs> okay, that was intense. Let's go ahead and save that progress. And what did it earn me, really? I'm not sure. Hopefully pass it to something amazing over here. Like a treasure chest with something awesome. Emperor's Hide times six. Find 33 33 treasure chests. Okay, that's actually good. And the Emperor's Hide was something that I needed for upgrading some of these super duper weapons. So that is nice. Um, and this just circled around. All right. And then there's three more of them again. Do I think I could play it better? I think I probably could. And there's three more treasure chests here. It's just a tiny bit of progress, but I'm going to go ahead and save it. And so this time I am going to do damage over time. Um, do I want to do my other damage over time as well? I think yes. Because having two of them attacking me rather than three of them attacking me seems good. And then... I think counter stance might actually make sense because they are doing a lot of like individual attacks against me. Oh gosh, they hit so hard. I think we just have to get Amalia out here to start doing heals. And fire coat Everybody gets it for six turns, but everybody is basically only going to be Rob and Sienna. So is it worth taking the time to do that? I don't think it is. I think I should just deal damage directly. All right. And so Yokugiri. Sure. We're keeping things nice and cool. And there's my counterattack, so that's already giving me some benefits. So you're already toxic, so Pandemic, I think, is the right move. So we can get all the damage over time going. And we're back in Overdrive. Len is almost dead, but Amalia can hopefully heal her. And... Should she heal her or heal all? I think I do want a Yokogiri. And then I think I should just heal Len and hope that Sienna gets lucky and survives. And if not, um, we could do other things. All right, so deal a bunch of damage. All right, Sienna did survive this round. And so I think just lay as much damage as you can, and then we'll revive you after you die. I think that's my current plan. Okay. You're down, that's fine. Uh, Rob, is Barrage a good thing to do? 
I think still yes. Although... You could do Awakened Spirit and she could do a Heal All? Hmm. No, I won't survive. I do a Heal All now. I can also do a Power Shot and Focus Fire. Maybe that's what I need to do. I need to get one of these guys off the battlefield. Alright, still not off the battlefield. And now I definitely need to heal all, I think. Well, hmm. Let's just do a heal on Len. And then if she fire jumps, she will kill one of them, and we should be able to survive the explosion. Alright, there's the explosion, and two out of three resisted. Oh, but then Rob went down. Oh no. Oh no, and then she's down too. This is so bad. Everybody just goes down. Yeah. Hmm. So I need I need some kind of defensive buff. So Victor obviously has defense buffs. And I could also just try to like get more damage out the door. Um Petraz wasn't really contributing a whole lot. I need people with good agility. So what I could do is I could throw Mike in here to deal a bunch of damage right at the beginning, and then I'll switch to Amalia. And get Victor in here singing a defensive tune right at the beginning. That seems plausible to me. So... Defensive buff for eight turns for everybody. Great, let's begin with that. All right, um, I do want damage over time on somebody because I'm trying to take one down and then Micah's gonna use her opener. And then I think we're back just to fire jumping. Gosh, I've done so little damage. <laughs> I'm really worried. Alright, Micah's poisoned. So long as she can stay alive, we can sub her out. And then... I think I should focus fire entirely on this guy. Yeah, let's try it. 900's nice. Oh no! I didn't get a chance to swap you out. So, I desperately need that person. Victor has already sang his song, so he can be the one who uses an angel wing. Although then they're about to get three turns. So I think actually that won't work. So in that case... I'll have him sing a song that helps keep us alive. And then when Len or Sienna goes, we'll resurrect that person. And Len, you can actually awaken spirit, but it would... Hmm. I'll use an angel wing. To bring Micah back. Then Sienna needs to cool us down, but this is really not worth it, I don't think. I think I've got to, though. I need the cooldown. Then you can swap out over here. And we could do a heal all to keep everybody up. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Okay, so we're healed, we're buffed, we've got some good things going for us. Uh, we're even going to be cooling down, and this guy is going to be going down soon. I didn't get a crit there, that's a shame. Alright. 
Um, yeah, let's just try to finish this guy off. Great. Here comes the explosion. Ouch. That's really bad. So, we have a lot of people poisoned. So I think we need Rob's ultra move. I think we need Rob's ultra move. Because being poisoned is no good. Ultra move! Da -da 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 -da. Alright. Poison's gone away. Then... I think actually we need to heal all going right now. Although, no, Amalia can do that in just a minute. Let's do a fire thrust and let's focus on one of them. And then let's try to like get some damage over time going on this one if we can. Okay, so you're gonna do a heal all. Sienna's out of TP. So I guess... If I substitute out for Tomki... Does he have anything that's very good? Not really. We'll substitute out for him anyway. Spinning Swirl... We'll stagger Tomki, but that's okay. Alright, we'll sub him back out in just a minute. Grace blocked, nice, nice. Okay, that's really good. So now I definitely want a Toxic Shot and try to get some damage over time going. Uh, Len is going to Fire Thrust. Sure. And then you need to sub back out. And you need to, I guess, eat some sweets. Because I'm not sure what else to do. And I could use Nectar. It seems silly to use Nectar for a just everyday battle. Like, it's not even a boss. So I'm going to choose not to. And yeah, I guess Poison Resist. Like, I probably have some items that get Poison Resist, and I could use some more of those uh, in my equipment. But whatever. Okay, skills. Uh, damage over time... You'll last longer in terms of the damage over time, so even though this is not focusing fire, I'm gonna do this, because I think that'll help me win in the long run. And then I could Pandemic this guy and get the damage over time on the other guy. I think that is actually gonna be a good choice. All right, and now Kesagiri won't take this guy out yet, but we're getting close. A Fire Thrust might do it and people would survive. Okay, he's gonna explode. Blam, 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 resisted, resisted, resisted. Uh, Amalia has trouble, but she can do a heal all, which is definitely what we need. Uh, we got an overheating problem. Uh, Sienna, I guess, is gonna have to cool us down with this. Yeah, I think she's got to. So, crit buff. And then this will also cool us down. And this guy does have damage over time, and we're in pretty good shape, so I think we're gonna win this battle. But yikes, these are hard. Uh, and he's already bleeding, right? So... Is there anything to steal? There's not. I think I'm just gonna do an attack for one. Alright, he's taking damage over time. Sienna resisted the poison. Fire thrust is good. Okay, and now you can case a Geary. Here we go, here we go. We're gonna win the battle. And a power shot. I think this will do it. Here comes the explosion. Uh, I overheated before the explosion, which is not great, but we did survive. And that's what matters. Okay. Yikes. Save that progress, please. Alright, get me to some awesome treasure chests. What are you writing, Sir Raphael? 
Just a diary, a sacrament of our church. I wonder what he's writing about. My beloved Pope here. Oh my God, there. Today of sin, that sort of thing. Oh, he dropped his diary. Hmm? These are drawings? Comics. You don't have to write down your diary, only as text. Comics? My master used to read those. Popular product in the free cities. May I see it, Sir Raphael? All right, I don't know what that was all about. Maybe there's some reference that I'm not getting. We'll imagine that's what it is. Um, let's see, two possible places to go. I'm gonna try to go the right-hand side. Cause that seems more, oh gosh, no! I can't possibly win against four of them. Can I? I'll try but I'll do it off camera. Yeah, I totally died. Okay, that's what I expected and I'm not gonna retry that battle. Um, so let me load my save. Not the auto save, auto save suck. Let me load this one and let's see if it's possible to go the other way and find a treasure chest. Um, did I even get the treasure chest already? Here I did. Okay. Oh wait, did I go down this way? I did not. Ancient carcass times six. Nice. And then I think I'm going to have to see the silly dialogue about the comics again. Okay. Got past all that dialogue. Here's another treasure chest with some more good equipment material stuff. And there don't seem to be enemies over here, which is also nice. Except how would I ever... Hmm. How would I get over there? It looks like it maybe comes out of the wall somewhere, so maybe there's like a hidden walk through the forest area over here somewhere. Could be. Um, could it be through here? Aha, I can walk over here. Neat, okay. And treasure chest. Okay, I got all the treasure chests off of the screen. I'm still incapable of getting to the upper right because the enemies are just too tough. Um, but we accomplished some things. And remind me, did I, on my reward board, I'm up to 114, which means if I view the chains, I can get another soul of Farnese. Great. Um, okay. That's pretty cool. Um, let's look at the reward board one more time. Because I'm curious about like what I should be doing next. I feel like I need to get stronger before I continue, and so I need to figure out where I can... There's hidden stone tablets in Flower Fields of Perpetua. Well, it might be at the end of this tunnel that I can't get to. Feed a group of at least five Sky Monkey with Eggle and Rob alone. I might be able to do that soon. Back over in Shambhala. Defeat all the unique monsters. There's still a bunch of them. That's kind of a boring one. Find the secret place. Still haven't done that. Survive two actions by Sea Monks on foot. <laughs> Their guys usually fight in Sky Armor. Uh, well, I'll defeat them without switching into Sky Armors. That's crazy. There's still more to explore in the Ograin Grotto Grottoes. Yeah, there's a bunch in the Ograin Grottoes. Take a trip by boat. I have like a Sharon key and I don't know where to use it. So maybe that's something I need to look into. Maybe I can try to do that before next time is like do some exploration back over at the Grottoes and figure out what we're missing there. Because there's definitely more, more to explore over there. So I think maybe that'll be my plan. Um, but for now, let's get out of this area. Um, and I'll put on my list that I still need to return uh, back to Northeast Flowers of Perpetua. Okay, so I'm going to say I hope as always that you all are having a great day. And I will see you again soon with more Chained Echoes. For now, bye-bye.